In some international news, Israel's army confirmed today that Hamas military chief Mohammed Dev was killed in an airstrike last month in the southern Gaza Strip. The announcement came a day after Hamas and Iran blamed Tel Aviv for Hamas chief Ismail Haniyeh's assassination in Tehran. Will this now escalate the war in West Asia? Disha Bakhti reports. A series of strikes that may escalate the conflict in West Asia to new heights. In a major blow to the militant group, the Israel military said it had succeeded in killing Mohammed Dev, the leader of Hamas's armed wing, the main architect of the October 7 attacks. The confirmation came roughly a day after Hamas's political face, Ismail Haniyeh, was also killed in Iran. Mohammed Dev, the shadowy leader and a mysterious figure, repeatedly escaped Israeli assassination attempts and was one of Israel's most wanted men for decades. The Israeli Defense Forces say that he was killed in the July 13 strike, which also killed 90 Palestinians. However, Hamas officials claim that only the group's military wing can confirm or deny Dev's death. Israel's announcement came as Iran held funeral prayers for another Hamas leader, Ismail Haniyeh, whose death in a strike this week has amplified fears of a wider regional war. Israel's Supreme Leader Ayatollah Ali Khamenei led the funeral prayers and has vowed to retaliate, saying Israel has prepared a harsh punishment for itself. Senior leaders of Hamas have vowed to make Israel pay a heavy price for Haniyeh's assassination. وكنا قام قوسين أو أدنى من الاتفاق فجاء نتنياهو وضع شوطا جديدا وبالتالي نتنياهو لا يريد هو وحكومته بالمناسبة لا يريدون الوصول الاتفاق هم لا يريدون وقف العدوان these targeted killings, especially Haniyeh's assassination, is a major blow to Hamas to the diplomatic efforts to secure a ceasefire in Gaza. International diplomats have now rushed to Lebanon, aiming to de-escalate heightening tensions between Tel Aviv and Tehran. Interestingly, the US, a strong ally of Israel, said it was unaware of Israel's plans. Well, of course, I've seen the, seen the reports, um, and what I can tell you is this. Uh, first, uh, this is something we were not aware of or involved in. All eyes are now on Iran and its proxies to see how they respond to these attacks and the ripple effects it sends across the globe. With Disha Bakhti, Bureau Report, NDTV.